What's good, 180? Brother Courtney here, got a word from the Lord. Working on the Psalms 106. Our verse is the first verse. Praise the Lord, or hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Now, mercy, what that, what that means is that we've done something that we should be punished for. And the Lord says, I forgive you. I'm not gonna give you what you deserve. And that's so dope because we can praise God for it. The second verse goes here, who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praises? And so it causes us to think about what he's done for us, or they say count your blessings. It's an easy way to actually get along with God. You know what I'm saying? It's actually a good way to just remember the things that he's done for you in your life or in someone else's life, a testimony of someone, or remember your own testimony. Let's scroll down a little bit. Verse 7. It says, our fathers in Egypt, or let me read that a little bit different. Our, my heritage here in Odessa, or the people in my family here in Odessa or the Permian Basin did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitudes of your mercies, but rebelled at the sea, the Red Sea. And so it kind of goes back to our bloodline and things that we have around us, the influences. The Bible tells us that bad company corrupts good behavior. Not saying that our family is bad, but maybe we have some bad things in there and we'll pull from those things, right? So remembering what the Lord has done, staying the course, knowing that we have a God that never fails and that we are in the center of him. We stand in victory, we never move away, even though we feel certain things that makes us feel like we're not. We're less than, but we're not. Those are the lies of the enemy. Those are lies that come from other people who don't understand the God that you serve, that we serve, that I serve. Second, the verse, verse eight says, nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power known. That is powerful because he saves you. He saves me, even though we messed up and we keep messing up and we're get it right, get it right. We build up. So when we build up, the Lord has saved us for his name's sake. He has, um, what's the word for it? He has a reputation to keep. He has a word to keep. His word shall not come back void. And he says that he gives us mercy. He saved us for his namesake. All we do is win. Like I wish I could play a song right now. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. No matter what, all we do is win. Let me scroll down a little further. Verse 13, it says, they soon forget his works. They did not wait for his, his counsel. You know, sometimes, we get used to being our own providers, our own emotional boosters, our own counsel, our own word. The revelation of Courtney Watts, it just doesn't fit. It's not gonna fit, you know what I'm saying? So when we wait on the Lord, remember all the good things that he has for us, he's given us mercy and his love endures forever or his mercy endures forever. It's not saying that we are allowed to make mistakes. It's just saying that when we do, we have a good place to go quit our sin. So, I hope you receive that well. I love you. See you soon.